Hey guys, happy Monday. Miss Quinn here. I'm here with our math lesson for the week. We're going to be building on last week. So this week we're telling time to the half hour. Um, we're going to go through and work with some clocks and talk about what a clock looks like when it's telling the half hour. All right, I'm going to take myself away and we're going to go through our lesson. Thanks guys. All right, so telling time to the half hour. Your goal is to tell and write times in half hours using analog and digital clocks. So let's go to our first page. All right, it says an analog clock can show time to the half hour. Remember, an analog clock is a clock that has hands on it. A half hour is 30 minutes. Okay, so here's our helpful hint. The hour hand points between the four and the five. The minute hand points to the six. It is 430. So that's the tricky part about half hour, you guys. The little hour hand is between two numbers. Okay, so when we think about that, we think it jumps backwards on the clock. So it's between the four and the five. We look backwards to the four. So it's 430. So let's look at this orange clock here. What time is this one? It's half past good nine because it's already gone past the nine that's what they mean by half past it's zoomed on by it it's on its way to its ten all right this one half past good job one o'clock it's already gone past the one it's moving around the clock red that one's a little tough because it's all down at the bottom isn't it it's between the six and the seven so it's half past six and this last yellow clock here, it's between the three and the four. Long hands touching the six, so I know that means half past. What time is it? Good, three. Half past three. So 9.30, 1.30, 6.30, That's the other way you can say it. All right, let's keep going, practicing that. Remember that analog shows time to the half hour by having the long hand on the six. So this is half past 12 because the hand has gone past the 12. And this is half past seven because the hour hand has gone past the seven. All right, let's look at these blue ones. What time is shown? Good, it's half past three. How about this green one? It's between the 11 and the 12. It's gone past the 11. Very good. How about here? It's between the 9 and the 8. Good. It passed by the 8 already. Half past 8. And here is between the 5 and the 6. So it's half past 5. Great job, you guys. All right. Let's talk about a digital clock. It says a digital clock can also show time to the half hour. Both of the clocks show half past six, or we can call it 6.30. So look here, the hour hand is between the seven and the six. So the long hand's on the six, which means it's 6.30. The digital clock says the hour in the front, six, and the minutes behind, 30, 6.30. So let's look at this. Now we're gonna take the analog clock and write the digital time. So this one is between the one and the two. I already have 30 in my digital clock. What's the hour? Good, it's 1.30, it's half past one. How about this one? The hour hand is between the nine and the eight. Good, it's 8.30. Orange clocks, hour hands between the 11 and the 12, long minute hands touching the six. Good, 11.30. And the last one on this page, our hand is between the three and the four. Long minute hand is touching the six. Good, this is 3.30. Excellent job. All right, it says you can tell time to the hour and half hour. So here's our hour that we worked so hard on last week and you guys did a nice job with. The minute hand is straight up touching the 12. We know that means zero, zero, o'clock. And the hour hand points right to the number. It's that's the hour. So this is nine o'clock. Here it is on a digital clock, nine o'clock. Over here, we have 30 minutes, half hour. So 
the minute hand is all the way at the bottom, touching the six. That way we know is 30 minutes or half past, however you'd like to say it. The hour hand is between the nine and the 10. So I look back on the clock, the number it's already passed, and it's the nine. So it's 930. All right, let's look at what you guys are up to this week in our Google Classroom with time. So your activity for today is called, what time is it? It's flowers and they have hour and half hour on them. And you come here in the white box and you type the time. So what time is shown on this clock? It's five. And then I go over here and do zero, zero, o'clock, five o'clock. So you'll have several to do like this. Tomorrow, we have an activity where there's a lot of drag and drop. So you're going to Snappy Snail's house. You'll see him on a few pages on Tuesday. And you're picking different things to do with time. So this one wants us to drag and circle to show which word best describes each type of clock. All right, so look at this clock. What is this one? You're right, it's an analog clock because it has hands on it. How about this one here? That's a digital clock, very good. So that's kind of how you do that activity tomorrow. This week, we also have some optional time games on IXL. There's all kinds of clock games that you can play when you finish with your Google Classroom activity. Here's your password and username right here for you if you need it, okay? I hope you guys have a great Monday. Really practice time to the hour and half hour. I'm proud of all the hard work you're doing and I miss you.